hi guys thank y'all so much for coming back to my channel if you are new please subscribe to me shiny shine and sit back relax i just want to come up here and just give y'all story time about me as a young child living with depression and i think that this will spark a lot of viewers attention especially the younger youth who are going through this currently rather it's at home or at school or you know just in general um, let's go ahead and get straight into this video <laughs> i can do that you've got to say yes to your life you've got to say yes yes to my dreams yes to me yes so i can growing make it. up with or living with depression it was very hard for me because i grew up very different from i would say the norm you know i grew up with having adhd um growing up in my childhood kindergarten to you know what happened grade school middle school high school I was bullied all throughout my time in school and it was not easy for me at all. I always felt like I was different in a way but I really couldn't you know express it and I felt like nobody really understood me and for that people not understanding me that's why I always say to myself in a way like I always wanted to be to myself but I know in a way like that's not good because my teachers always told me like you know you need to make some friends and you need to do this blah 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 and I'm just like no because nobody really understanding me they're bullying me I'm getting bullied you know and there are some teachers who are bullying me as well and with me being a young child and everything and I'm coming to my parents about a situation that doesn't matter I just felt like I wasn't really being heard, you know what I'm saying? I felt like I was not being heard a lot of times when I was in school. All throughout my time in school, like literally from kindergarten all the way up to high school, I felt like I was not being heard at all. When I come to them about a teacher disrespecting me and they were wrong, oh, I got in trouble a lot of times for that. And I feel like a lot of the, the, those teachers and you know students, they saw my weakness in a way because when I was bullied, I, I kept it to myself and I think like they seen that too and they wanted to bully me as well. And that right there caused so much depression in me that I just didn't know who I to talk to or who to go to about the situation. And it was a point where I wanted to end my life and I wanted to, you know, just give up on a lot of things, you know, but I thank God as well for me stepping into a christian home well not, i'm not gonna say christian home but a church facility and you know I, I feel like it was home to me you know but um but yeah i'm i'm just go ahead and speak on the turn y'all but like i said when i was younger <laughs> excuse me when i was younger i and i'm gonna say like nine ten if i'm going to i hope i'm not going too far but when I was around that age, um, dealing with depression, I was getting bad grades in school. Um, I got held back in the fifth grade from it. And I, I just had a hard time learning and you know understanding. I studied the material. My parents helped me study. They got me a tutor um, and everything. And I just was not comprehending anything, y'all. Literally, like, and I, I hate that I had this mentality like, dang, like I can't understand nothing. So what I was thinking like in my mind, like nobody really understands me. I'm trying to really try and work and I'm trying to do, learn this material, but I just cannot grasp what is going on. Like math, um, you know, we had science, we had social studies and, I, and English was really the main um, subjects that I aced in. And that was like literally English throughout my time in school. So. Um, again, I was being bullied on top of my teachers bullying me. And um, when I got to the fifth grade, I failed. I had to repeat the fifth grade. Um, it's, it's a constant thing over and over again. It's like I tried to be the quiet girl in school and I still got bullied. It keep asking questions about a certain subject. The teachers act like they get tired of me. The students are bullying me. It, it, it was just so much. And at the time, I had so much rage and anger built up inside of me. And... I felt like I wasn't being heard. You know, have you ever like feel like you was never being heard and nobody really is paying you any attention? Like that's that's literally how I felt. Like I was not being heard and nobody really, you know, was listening to me and for a long time I dealt with that. I dealt with that. So it's like now as an adult, I still keep that inside of me because, you know, it's like, oh well, um, 
you need to go to a therapist or you need to talk to someone or you need to blase 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 you know but i still feel as though well this was in high school i'm, I'm still like growing up as an adult um I'm still speaking for the fact of me still being young and going through it. But with me still being, being an adult, I, I had help. I had therapists and everything. And they helped me so much, you know. And um, I have been going to church and everything and praying and talking to God and everything. And thank God for me joining a church at a time that I did because I was really going through some hardships with my mind. And, you know, I feel like people are not believing me when I, when I tell them about certain things. And... You know, family seem like when a teacher, you know, get on me about certain things and it's it's not true, you know, and I feel like my parents are kind of take a side in a way towards them. And, you know, that, that really hurt me as a child when your, your parents not understanding you and they think you're lying about the situation, you know. So um, what I'm trying to get at right now, I was just trying to give you like a brief um, story about like my life and what I've been going through at a young age, battling with depression, battling with anxiety, battling with, you know, nobody really taking a side, your side, you know? And like I said, I'm glad that I, I had therapy growing up. Well, you know, getting out of high school. Yeah, so I got out of school. Like I said, I was being bullied, teased, depressed all throughout when I was young to high school. And what helped me was my walk with Christ and actually, you know, giving God all my problems. Cause sometimes we have to really give God all your problems and really take everything, what he's giving you into perspective. You know, everything you're not going to like, but at the same time, he's going to heal you, you know, just like he healed me. I, I never thought that I'll actually break free from what I've been dealing with. And I'm honestly still battling with, you know, depression, but it's not to the fact that I want to do something crazy, you know, cause I'm pretty sure like, you know, someone had a, I don't know who it is, but I know people have been having thoughts and people had thoughts and they actually, you know, if you feel like you're not being heard, still have a conversation with whomever whether it's your mom, your dad, and if they're not listening, seek therapy. You know, because honestly, I was at my breaking point. I really was at my breaking point. And I, I hate that I even had thoughts, you know, crazy thoughts in my head. And, you know, if it wasn't for me finding God at the time I did, and honestly, I don't even know if I'd be here right now. And I'm just, you know, saying that as humbly as I know how you know and that's why when I you know I, I I don't know I think I'm the type of person to choose my friends wisely because you just never know who your real, real friends are and that comes into play with you know depression anxiety you just never know what somebody's going through so I don't want to be around friends who are going to continue to mock me and continue to downplay me or you know just we just have to watch who we surround ourselves with, you know? People don't have our best interests at heart and, you know, we're just gonna have to be okay with that. And I know that I am definitely okay with that. Um, God blessed me in so many ways to where I don't have to have and depend on every single body. I have to go get it for myself, you know? And thank God that I live alone because it kind of showing me who my real friends are and, you know, going forward, who I can really trust. And your, your trust is not supposed to be this big, literally. Your trust really needs to be like here, right here, okay? That's it, like it, it needs to be brought to like a minimum, your trust. You know, and everybody that you call your friends are not your friends also. Um, never, never take the people that support you for granted. I wanted to throw that in there as well. But yeah, um, yeah, so see, I, sometimes I just be speaking all over the place, but I hope y'all really understand what I'm talking about here. Um, you know, from battling depression, anxiety to, you know, knowing who you who you can trust and if they trust you. Um, I had this talk with my parents too because at the time they weren't really um, believing in me when I was telling them about certain things and certain people. And it was like, oh, well, you know, listen to your teacher. She's telling you right. You know what I'm saying? And, and and then when I get in the classroom, it's a whole different story. Like, oh yeah, I know how to get your parents. Like, what? 
it, it, it's just so much that I've been through, y'all. And like I said, God gave his battles to his strongest soldiers. And I know I was God's strongest soldiers because I pray to God all the time. Like, God, I'm glad I never took my life or I never really, you know, anticipated on it because I, it, it was thoughts. It was thoughts, y'all. And, and it's real. Like, this world is so wicked and evil. And especially as growing up, like, from what people go through, you know, I'd rather it's like rape or, you know, um, prostitution or, you know, kidnapping. Like, you know, things could have been a whole lot differently. So I had to just thank God for, you know, him not, well, just me not being in those type of environments or just going through certain things. But at the end of the day, I still want you to give your life to Christ because you could have been going through that same thing, you know? So we have to continue keeping God in our hearts and in our minds because some of it can be a test. You know, what are you going to do now that this happened? You know, your actions are going to prove a lot for God before God can really take you to the next level. And I make sure I keep my Bible handy. I make sure I pray every day, day in and day out. And I listen to my bishop. Sometimes I listen to Bishop um, Michael Blue. That's my bishop, Bishop T.D. Jakes. And, you know, I just really try to feed in the word and just read the Bible because God is so awesome. And, you know, you don't go through those things for nothing. It's always a reason why. And I, I'm not going to question God because I know that everything happens for a reason. Like I said, I'm still standing here before y'all today telling y'all my story. You know, I know some people are probably be ashamed of it, you know. Like I told you, I had grew up with ADHD before. I I grew up not the smartest child in school, you know. So it, it all comes into play. And at the end of the day, I just want us all to make it. No matter what you're going through in life, like I just want all of us to make it, you know. So um, yeah, so that's it Um, with another video like this, maybe a part two. But if y'all like videos like this, thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I'm Shawnee Sean. And I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in. For I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, plans of good and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. And that's where we started the message, and that's where we're starting 2023. You I don't want to miss my mark whatever god has for me to do on earth in the realest way i do not want to miss that mark i just want to do that